I've made a short little video about the Cyrusher XF900 that I bought. I've been using it to go to work on. So uh, here's a little taste of what it's like to ride. Okay. I'm pretty used to the bike now. Um, doing a six mile commute each way, um, twice. So it's like 24 miles ish. That's about what I'm getting out of it. So pedal assist three takes me to a nice speed where my legs are getting a little bit of a burn, but I'm not overdoing it. At the moment, the six miles is um, taking me 20 minutes dead to do. Well, I'll tuck my gloves in a minute. So I bang it up to pedal assist four. I've told the I've told the computer I've got a um, 10 inch wheel on so it'll clatter along quite comfortably so I'm using around 500 watts of power that as well with the thumb throttle that I fitted I can literally push it in and it's sits around behind there so I can just sit up and the bike's pulling me along. So I can have a breather but not lose any speed. But like I say, the range on this is limited so the more you can help it, the further you can go. Okay, I've slowed up a bit now. I'm struggling up here. Let's uh, bang it into fifth. Oh, pedal assist five. Yeah, still flexing my legs. No, we haven't stopped yet. Oh. That is burning. That is a good workout for the legs. Well, I'm really lucky to have this. So this is quite back road on the way home. So let's bring it down to one. And down. Now I can throttle on and just get over that bit. Pedal assist two. Yep, it's good. That's showing 250 watts, about 200 to 250 watts of assistance. Pedal assist free is my happy spot. And 350 watts to 400 is about what I'm needing for these sandy tracks on this hill. Look at this. It's lovely up here. Look at that. Some beautiful colours. You can hear the rumblings going on at Milton Air Base. Something's landing or taking off. That's just over there. Some water towers you can't see from the GoPro. You can see with your naked eye. So I'll just bang it along here. Some black clouds, I hope I don't get caught out. So here we go, so I'm on the level now. Pedal assist free. Yeah, about 400 watts needed. Bang it out for the gears. Suspension's working there for the bumps. I can feel it compressing. I 
Right, so down to the dual carriageway. Whew. Right, let's uh, take this down, slow down a bit. Ooh, it's quite a decline here. Watch out for the water pipe, deadly. Whoop, slipping on that. Straight, straight on your ass. Here we go. So it's just rolling nicely. The fat tires making light work of this. We're well, approaching the dual carriageway now. This uh, is very busy at times. There's an old right of way that crosses over with all the UCR. So, uh, highways don't really want to maintain it, but. So, some volunteers from the Trail Riding Club come up here every now and then and knock it all back so they can join the Fetford Loop. It's a bit noisy. But I mean, headless this one. This is where the a little bit of roll helps. So I can go after this car. Easy. Oop. Stuck down into here, now I'm safe. Let's go into the the other bit. This one's only about 200 meters long. It's uh Bumpy. So I come down here with the electric edge trimmer at the weekends sometimes so they can and knock it all backwards. It's a nice uh, we've got to negotiate uh, fast and the furious. He used to block that off completely but He's uh, nice enough to leave it, leave it free for us. It's all downhill. Nice little walkway they've put in. So as soon as I see anyone, I'll bump it down to one, knock down the gears and get off the bike. No one wants to have a swim. Let's see. Over this nifty little bridge. Let's see if I can get my uh, Skill so pedal assist one's ideal for this slow maneuvering. Okay. Well, there's no seagulls today. I'm usually covered on seagulls on both sides of this bridge. As you can note by the uh, amount of bird poo on the handrails. So, a few swans here. Uh, not going that way. Go this way today. Right. Up the hill. So back in Milden all now. I could time this right, we can cross together. Done him. Still pedal assist one at the moment. Just doing 50 watts. Still motoring fairly. In case someone walks out in front of me. Go. 
has the plane taken off from the airbase nearby. Straight up. Okay, so there you go. Um, summarise, it's a really comfortable bike. It doesn't seem to have the mileage that they say it does. Looking around 30 miles for a battery, or a couple of hours, if you will, depending on how much you pedal. Um, maybe I should pedal a bit more. But there she is, lovely looking bike. Uh, would I buy it again? yeah yeah it's very comfortable and um yeah i like my comfort uh could possibly go for the folding one with the added advantage of being able to fold it quickly and visit other places but yeah not bad for i think i paid 2300 they've got the new one now so that's the um ranger I've seen youtubers riding that around basically uh, like the same but doesn't look as Larry. Better colours. It's got the, the green. I like that. It's a good colour. <laughs> Thinking about cam camo in this, this one up. So I could do some um, biking adventures. Got the rack on the back all ready to go. So I could stick a, stick a hammock on the back. And uh, take myself off somewhere. As long as it isn't too far. <laughs> One man was walking his dog a minute ago, he said, oh, be careful, slow down. I was only doing about two miles an hour, he said, my dog doesn't like bright colours. Anyway, there's a few Karens out here at the moment. Don't like uh, people cycling past their dogs. Yeah, be careful, guys. So, yeah, highly recommend one of these. Okay, take care.